Hi, and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create an Ansible AWS instance. What's Ansible, you ask? It's going to allow us to automatically create EJBCA certificate authorities within our environment. We could do this the old fashioned way, but why not automate instead? So let's get started. First, we'll need to log into our AWS console, where I have an existing EJBCA instance. Before configuring the Ansible instance, you will need to configure an EJBCA instance. If you missed that video tutorial, a link will be provided at the end of this presentation. Once we build our AWS Ansible image, we will be able to configure CAs using the Prime Key Ansible playbook. So let's get started. Log into your AWS console by clicking on the link in the upper right corner of the screen. Once you have logged into the AWS Management Console, locate the search bar at the top of the page. Type EC2 and press Enter. Select EC2 from the list. On the next page, click the orange Launch Instance button. Choose the Amazon Linux 2 AMI as shown and click the blue Select button. Step 2. Choose the instance type, select T2 Micro, and click the Next Configure Instance Details located on the bottom right of the screen. Step 3. We'll be taking the default values for this page, so click Next Add Storage. Step 4. Adding Storage. Again, we'll take the default values here and click Next Add tags at the bottom right of the screen. Step five, adding tags. If you'd like to add a tag to identify this instance, this is the place to do it. For this example, I am taking the default value and not creating any tags. So I'll be clicking next, configure security groups. Step six, configure security group. Click Select an Existing Security Group. You will be selecting the same security group that was created during the EJBCA free trial install in Video 1. At the end of this, click Review and Launch. Step 7. Review your instance details. When you are ready, click the Launch button. In this step, we will need to select our SSH keys. You will be using the keys that were created during the EJBCA free trial install during video one. From the drop-down list box, select Choose an Existing Pair. In the second drop-down list box, select the SSH keys from the EJBCA instance created earlier. Click the Acknowledgement checkbox and then click on Launch Instance. The instance will begin launching. On the next screen, click View Instances. You will see two instances in the list, the newly created Ansible instance and the existing EJBCA free trial instance. Click the Refresh button until the Ansible instance has a running status. If you haven't already done so, start your EJBCA instance. At this time, note the public IP address of the Ansible instance. We will need it in the next step. Ensure you have access to the SSH keys that were created during video one. We will need them in the next step. From your workstation, open up a terminal session and SSH to the Ansible instance using the public IP address and the SSH keys that were recorded in a previous step. When prompted, accept the fingerprint. Install the Ansible software with the following command. Press Y when prompted to install.
Next, enter the following command to install the Git software. Using Vim or your favorite line editor, create a new file called id underscore rsa. Copy the contents of the private key file downloaded from video 1 into this file. Save the file. The location will now reside in your home directory below the directory labeled .ssh. Change the permissions on the file by using the shamad command and giving the owner read and write access with a value of 600. No other users will have access to this file. Next, we will test the SSH connection between the Ansible instance and the EJBCA instance. At this time, retrieve the private IP address of the EJBCA instance. This will be needed in the SSH command. Click Yes to continue connecting. Once you have established a successful connection, type Exit. The rest of the configuration will be done on the Ansible instance, so remember to type Exit. Back on the Ansible instance, type the git clone command to clone the prime key dev Ansible repository. Change directory to the directory shown. Using Vim, create a new AWS inventory file. Follow along as I demonstrate. Now, test the connection using the following command. If everything has been configured correctly, you will see a success message. We hope you've enjoyed this series on how to create an EJBCA free trial install and using Ansible to automate the creation of CAs. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support team. Thanks and have a great day.